What's up, homies? Are you bored? Is being inside starting to make you go a little loopy? Get out of here, my cat. It's gonna knock the tripod over. The tripod also already sucks. Don't touch it. Well, I've done some research in my own brain of my brain files to. Uh, Bougie, why are you always touching stuff you're not supposed to? Gosh. I don't want to hear it. I said I don't want to hear it. Well, I have done some research within my brain files to find, to bring you this list of highly effective ways to cope with the quarantine. But first, a word from our sponsor. I don't have any sponsors because you haven't liked the video. Like the video, subscribe, share, all of that. You did that? Great, great. And now, on to the video. Number one, meditate. Always wanted to practice meditation and couldn't find the time? Well, the time is here. Meditation has been shown to reduce stress, increase focus, and boost creativity. Number two, yoga. We all know that yoga can help increase flexibility, balance, and overall fitness. But did you know that surveys have shown that people who practice yoga have more awareness of their bodies and are far less critical of their appearance than those who didn't? Number three, dance. Dancing can have excellent benefits for your physical health and well-being. So get down to finally practicing that Millie Rock. In New York, I'm Millie Rock. <laughs> hey, let me hear that whole Jeff. Yeah. It's the intro part. Yeah. The two, the number two. It can also be an excellent challenge for your brain and improve your mind-body connection. Dancing can be a great mood elevator, especially when you're feeling that Rona cabin fever. Number four, go for a walk. Walking just 30 minutes a day can provide an assortment of positive benefits for your body and mind health. Walking can improve heart, mind, bone, and cardiovascular health. According to walkingforhealth.org, physically active people have up to 30% reduced risk of becoming depressed, and staying active helps those who are depressed recover. So put on your shoes and take a pet pal if you have one. Number five, Discover new music. Music is a well-known mood enhancer and creativity booster, but listening to the same old tunes may not cut it after a while. Discovering new music and sounds by indie artists can be interesting, and you get the added benefit of supporting someone living out their dreams. Six, video chat with friends or family. Number seven, write a poem or song. Writing is a great way to get out feelings and emotions and easing anxiety. And when Rona is over, you'll come out with an expansive lexicon. See, it's working already. Number eight, write a book. Now is the perfect time to finish that novel you've been working on. I'm working on that novel you've been working on. You know the ah! Or even an autobiography. If you aren't famous, I'm not sure why you would write one though, unless it's for your great great grandkids to know what it was like during the Rona years. Number nine, learn an instrument. You may have noticed the last few entries on this list have all been creative outlets. That's because your brain loves creativity. And this era of immense boredom is the perfect time to do all the creative things you've dreamt of doing. Number 10, bathe your dog. Seriously, bathe your dog, people. Your dog stinks. Just make sure not to bathe them too much or you could end up drying out their skin. If they're like my dog, they won't be too thrilled, but I'm sure they'll appreciate it in the end. Number 11, binge on Netflix. Remember that movie you've always wanted to watch? Or that series you just didn't have time for? Well, now is the time. Hopefully you're watching something educational and informative. Not mainstream expose trash. Courage saying, I'm Joseph Maldonado Passage and I'm the reason you all are here. Number 12, clean up. 
If your house is like mine, it's probably gross. Now is the time to get it nice and tidy, especially since you'll be in there all day. According to Psychology Today, a study at Indiana University discovered that people with clean houses are healthier than people with messy houses. Go figure. Cleaning up has been shown to relieve stress and sharpen mental focus. There's also nothing like the calming peace of mind you feel from a clean house. Number 13, read a book. Whether it's fiction or nonfiction, reading is important for our brain health. It stimulates the mind, improves your analytical skills, and sharpens mental focus. And it will enhance your vocabulary too, expanding the depth of the conversations you can have with others. Number 14, learn a language. Wanted to always learn Spanish or German or Korean? Now is a great time. I use this app called Duolingo for some basic Spanish vocab, but there are plenty of resources online to use, including YouTube, for free. Ella tiene un carro. Ella tiene un carro. Number 15, do the laundry. Those underwear aren't going to wash themselves. Number 16, find lost things. Hey, I found my charger. Hey, I, oh, never mind. Number 17, start a YouTube channel. Do you have ideas that you want to share with the world? Do you need a space to be creative and express yourself? Do you like reviewing things? Well, YouTube is still free to start and we've all got cameras now. Start that channel. Entertaining content is more important now than ever. Number 18, discover new YouTube channels like mine. It's always refreshing to view a new perspective. Number 19, make a to-do list. It's time to get stuff done. Make that list and complete the tasks you've been putting off. You'll feel a wonderful sense of accomplishment as a reward. Number 20, chef it up. Whether you enjoy cooking or don't know how, get in the kitchen, learn a new recipe, or master old ones. Your taste buds will thank you. Well, that's everything. I hope you liked the video, and if nothing else, I hope you like my butt. Give this video a like if I inspired you to do something on this list. Please subscribe to see more of my face and booty, maybe, and share with someone that you think needs to see this. And leave me a comment to let me know what you've been doing during this quarantine to keep busy. I might need some more ideas. Okay, bye. Okay, bye.